Hello everybody. At first I wanted to upload a video how to make kakadam, but something went wrong several times in a row. So I decided to upload a video how not to make kakadama for you to see what mistakes we should avoid. This video will be helpful for those people who want to make their first kakadama, as I did when I started to record this video. You will need soil, some sort of twine, I use jute, gloves, plants, moss, live dried, bowl and scissors to cut the twine. We start with small ficus plant, and here is the first mistake. You should choose your plants carefully. This one has too small foliage to look nice. Some plants as succulent, cacti, etc. are also not suitable for making kakadama. Of course you can try such plants, I saw such tries on the internet, but it looked not very nice, and they were doing bad eventually in such way of planting. My soil mix consists of peat and pellite. Make sure your mix is moist. I pulled the plant out of the pot and removed liquor. We have a nice lump of soil here, so we'll just add a bit more soil to form a bowl. I used dried moss, which I soaked in water in advance. When moss dried up a bit, we have a nice sheet of moss to wrap our kakadama. And here's the next mistake. Make sure you have enough moss and it's a quality moss. I didn't manage to find good moss for this video, so I had to buy moss with leaves, sticks and bark in the package. I thought forming a ball and wrapping it with moss would be the most difficult thing. And here we are approaching to the point where things get really difficult and complicated. We need to wrap the kakadama with twine to bind the moss to the ball. The third and the biggest mistake is that the twine was way too thick for such small ball. I barely managed to wrap it somehow and I've redone it several times to get the fine result. I don't have full footage, as it took at least half an hour to finish this kakedama. I followed instructions from this video, from this channel. I don't know what there is said, but still it's a great video. Next kakedama will be made of Kamidora plant. I do the same actions here, but this plant has bare roots, so they need to form a ball of dirt from scratch. Here I added too much water. I can even squeeze the water out of it with bare hands. I mean, with hands and gloves. Now you understand why we're going to need them. The ball is too small, therefore I have to mix peat and polite again. You need to break the ball into parts and put the roots in there. Oops, uh, the ball collapsed. And here I understand, I don't have enough moss. So I had to buy more moss, which was of bad quality, and I have to continue recording this video next day. You see all those sticks and leaves in the moss. And how I should do a kakodama with that rubbish. But I didn't have any other choice. 
I can't postpone the video as I have started. I put it on a plate and soaked in water. I should have waited until it dried, but I don't have much time as I study in university and work to buy mosses and plants. For this kakedama the twine suits better, as the ball is much bigger. But still it was an Italian punishment for me. When I wrapped the ball with twine it was the time of despair, hatred and pain. I tried my best and redid this several times, but it looked worse than the kakedama I saw in the video, from which I took the idea. I was irritated by this stupid twine, moss and dirt. I've never done such things before, so it was really difficult. But now, all my pains and efforts in doing this looks rather ridiculous. I was so irritated that I didn't pay attention to the fact that all I did was out of camera's perspective. I'm going to make a kokedama with an orchid. I think it will look great. And the care of such kokedama won't be very different from care after an ordinary orchid. And here the end. You can see how it looks when it hangs on my balcony. The big one is pretty nice, but the small one isn't neat. But maybe when it's grown up a bit, it will look better. the Kagedama haven't changed significantly, but they do well. Ugh! <laughs>